right, everyone. Welcome to a brand new week, and we're gonna use the geometry to start our first day. And today we're gonna see a lot of different shapes and to figure out the questions. Let's start from the first one. A figure has been cut into three pieces, and I want to know what is that figure. So let's first take a look. Is it special? Yes, we have a water drop and a semicircle and a triangle. So to find the original figure, we just need to combine them together. So we need to check each of the shape one by one to find out who is correct. So start from option A, we have a heart. So we can first cut the special the special shape, right? What is special shape? The semicircle, all the water drop, right? It is very rare to see compared with triangles. So can we cut a semicircle? Yes. And then can we cut a water drop? Yes, of course. And what's left, everyone? Great. We just have a triangle left. Seems like we find the correct answer. But can we just stop here? No, we just keep it, but we need to check all the other options and make sure there's no other options that is also correct, right? That is elimination. So let's start from B. B is a circle. If I cut a semicircle here and I find a water drop, can I make another one as a triangle? No way. So B is not correct. How about C? I can find a semicircle, but what's left? It's a square. So can I cut a water drop from that? Impossible, right? Because there must be something left here. That's not what we want. How about D? It is a rectangle. Is it possible for us to cut a semicircle and with nothing left beside it? No way, right? So D is not correct. How about E? Of course, we can cut a semicircle and we can also cut a water drop. But how about the part left? Is it a triangle? No way, right? So E is not possible. So what is the correct answer? A, right? Okay, so now let's move on to the next question. Mara built the square shown below. So this is a square she built. And how did she build it? She used four of the following five shapes. So that will be the five shapes here, A, B, C, D, E. And then we want to know which shape hasn't been used, okay? So how to solve this question? The same, right? If we already know four of them can build this square, we just want to try, find out whether we have those pieces in the square combined. So let's start from option A. Do we have three stars and a diamond? Yes, it is here, right? And we have three diamonds in a row and the circle. Can we find it? Oh, awesome. It is here. And how about C? Two stars and a circle. Can we find it? Yes, as an L shape like here, right? How about D? Two circles and three arrows. Wow, wow, wow. Yes, we find it. How about E? Three diamonds and a star. Mm, oh, Someone said, hey, Judy, you can see we do have three diamonds as an L shape and the star, but is it the shape we used? Everyone, think about it. If I use this shape, there are two stars missing, but do we have two stars allowed as a shape? No. So do we use E actually? No, we didn't use E, right? Because if I use E, there will be two stars left. That's not what we want to see, right? So we know actually the correct combination is a piece A and we have piece B, right? So E is left here. We haven't used E. Okay, so you can see here we have a lot of interesting shape questions. And if you want to see more, don't forget, sign up for our five-pointer prep classes. And our teacher will also show you more very interesting questions about the shapes. Okay, so now let's move on to the final question. This one also requires you to use some special methods to find out the answer correctly and quickly. We know some lengths are shown below. Which length is the smallest? If it is the smallest, it will cover more green part or less green part. 
definitely less green part, right? So how can we solve it? In our prep classes, our teacher will introduce your the method, but now I will give you a little bit lick, okay? That is, we need to find out the same unit to count. Each of the link here covers how many unit and everyone can find what is the smallest unit here? Exactly, we have this small triangle, right? The three points together can make this a small triangle and all of those lengths are covered or are combined with a same unit here, right? So for A, we're gonna find out how many units are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? And how about B? The same thing, right? Just cut them into the same units. And then we will know how many units for each of the shape. For this one, A, B, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, I want to use letters, but actually I need to use numbers. Okay, how about C? Yes, you can cut it by yourself, right? Cut them into the same unit so it's easy for you to compare. So for C, if you count, we will still have eight. And for D, great, try your way to cut them into the same unit. And how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight as well. And how about E? How many units are there? If you count, you will find we also have eight units, right? So now if they have the different numbers of the units, can you tell me which one is the smallest? Definitely A, right? That's how we solve this question. And don't forget, if you want to see more, sign up our five-pointer prep classes.